Hey YouTube, just got back from the Virginia Shonen Jump. My flight came from Mass back to Minnesota around midnight last night. And it's Tuesday morning, so I have my deck profile for you. Um, I haven't played the game in since Michigan, and but Ryan Severin and Scott Holbrook were telling me that Wind Lightning was a really, really good deck. And apparently, Matt Eisenbud made the deck, I guess. Um, so, shout outs to all of them for helping me out with this. And it's a really good deck, obviously, since I haven't played in forever. And I'm able to win a jump. It's a really strong deck. And got a little lucky, I guess. So, here it is. Three Hotaru. She has the two mental power. She's female. She has growth. She can pay for the handcuffs of monster research and all your wind missions. Three Ink Leech for the Chalker generation. Uh, really necessary, I think. Most decks play three Ink Leech. Very good. Two Kisuke to stall, and he's on element. Two Hanari, because she can look at your opponent's hand, she can cycle through more cards, she has two mental power and decent stats. One Kashina, Mental Power, Female, and Chakra Generation. Two Karin to heal. Uh, she's You need to heal in the deck to draw with Futaba. She has two Mental Power. Really good. Counter is stuff like Fourth Okage. Powerful stuff. Two Yuruka to search out Futaba. Because uh, you need Futaba. Futaba is the draw engine of the deck. She's really, really powerful. One Ink Fish for the times when you need an extra drop. And one Tamari. She's a great uh, card to search out with Sheikah's Decision. You draw a card and you get to take a card out of your opponent's hand or at, le at the very least see what they have. 3K and S. Most decks are going to be running 3K and S, as I've said in my other videos. Um, best two drop in the format, plus is a card, and it's uh, the best uh, card to search out with. Sheikah's Decision, and then you can target it with Sheikah's Decision and search out any card in your deck that's 4 drop or lower. 2 Puppet Dance Sakura. She is one of the main combos of the deck. She helps you draw a bunch of cards off Futaba, and there's a lot of cool combos you can do with her by injuring stuff. 2 Kakashi for the damage um, of the deck. You get Sakura and Kakashi out, and you just start injuring their whole field. Or damaging your, their whole field. One Sasori. I like Sasori because you can steal with uh, the ninjas you're killing off with Kakashi. And um, he can go into puppet mode to bring back your Sakuras or Sasori Hiroku to give you unlimited hand size. And I only played him once during the tournament, and it was against Jordan Markle, but he did end up putting in work. I didn't go into any of the reinforcements, but I did end up stealing his ninjas, and it forced him to basically. Uh, do bad blocks because he knew that depending on the block I could uh, take his guy. Narda TBF, this guy won me so many games he's f one of the best cards in the deck I think. Uh, when you drop him you just gain a huge advantage because you just start killing guys. And last for the ninjas, 2 fourth Akage. I didn't run 3, I didn't think it was uh, necessary because it's hard to hit the lightning because the lightning counts low. So that's what I ran into. Three soccer's decision. One of the major, main draw card missions of the deck. Uh, draw four off of KNS or just draw two or three. Three off soccer, two off half the females in the deck. Three Sheikah's decision, the main tutor of the deck. Uh, really good search. Searches your curve, searches basically anything that you need to hit. Because the fourth Akage, the Nard, and the Sasori don't need to hit, but everything else is kind of important. And then the best lightning mission, Monster Research. Uh, it has a water symbol, which is really nice because you have a lot of cards that aren't lightning that are water, so you can pay for the cost easier. And two Secret Book. Uh, Secret Book is one of the best cards in the deck. It won me a lot of games. Um, one of my favorite cards in the deck, for sure. 
I ran three Rasengan. Um, Scott genre decided to run two. I didn't feel like that was a good choice because you need removal. You want to be able to draw into your removal so that you'll have it when you need it. Three reanimation. Uh, the heal of the deck. You can loop them. You draw a bunch of cards. It's good. Two ferocious punch for your negation. Uh, an amazing card just to hold in your hand and just sit there and and if they do something rash you just ferocious punch. Now you take a damage. Now I'm gonna win. And then the best card in the deck, Hydro Pump. Uh, wins a crap load of games. It's broken. Um, not much more to say about that. And then Chufutaba for your drawing for when you heal. And then I will do my side deck. One secret book. I cited this in against every Fire Lightning deck. It is amazing. If they can't hit their Warhawk, they lose. Uh, one Obito. I played Obito because it stops basically every Jutsu in the mirror match because all the females are turn 3 and lower and the main Jutsu users are turn 3 and lower unless they have Naruto or 4th Okage. Um, but yeah, I liked him. I also liked him with Fire Lightning because all their low drop guys use the dragon flame and if they uh if they don't have a if they have a four higher then they have to give uh him a damage instead of the lower guys. One Jugo, um I sided him against stuff like Fire Lightning and if there was anything else I thought that he'd be necessary for. He I I played him once. He wasn't that great, but uh he was just an extra three support, which was nice. It helped. One Obido uh, for stuff uh, like Void or stuff that runs a lot of reinforcement. For Void, you can uh, move one of their sacrifice guys back to their remove from play, and then they have to come back and play and sacrifice again. And then another thing for Void, two Eno, um, and for other decks that have a lot of put in play, but mainly Void. She just stops it. She's medical. She negates the head ninja's effect. She's good. Two Hina, of course, staple side deck card, great for the mirror to kill Futaba in secret books, and versus stuff like Mill or Void to kill their worlds. And then last, two Passing Fates for Mill, and that was it. Now after the reinforcements, I didn't reinforce a whole lot during the tournament, but I had a full reinforcement deck because I had Sasori in the deck. Ancestor could take anybody and then you could squad with it. So but here's the whole thing. Uh one Sage Mode, one fourth Naruto. This ended up winning me the finals. I ripped a fourth off the top and I already had Naruto in play and I was in a pretty leading position at that point, but it's just finished it up for me. One of the uh, set of these guys because I could steal the turn three Naruto and then go into these if I needed to. One Sasori Hiriko for Sasori. One Sasori Puppet Mode. Two Danzo. I could Kakashi could go into Danzo, or uh, I could steal a Sasuke going into Danzo. One Sasuke Kakashi because I could steal a Sasuke with Sasori and then go into Sasuke Kakashi. One fourth uh, Kakashi. Uh, he, this was pretty good. It kind of locked some stuff up. It gave you good options. I thought. One Kitamara State 2 in case I stole a Kitamara State 1. One Jugo State, or uh, Jirobo State 2 in case I stole a Jirobo. And one Heretical Icon just in case I got a Naraka Path I wanted to bring a, a dude out. Alright, that's the deck. Um, it's a lot like uh, the one that Javad won Michigan with. So thanks, Javad, for the idea because I'm sure that caused everybody, Ryan and Matt, start building this this version of the deck and the deck is actually called cruise control based on Java's last name so shout outs to him for putting the deck on the radar uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe bye